3. Yesterday, we told you about a man who lost more than 10,000 bucks in a common IRS phone scam. It's just one of the many scams going around the area right now here this morning with some tips on how to avoid becoming a victim is Laura Mail, who's the Southwest Regional Director with the Wisconsin Better Business Bureau. Good to see you. Good to see you. So we can say it and we'll say it yeah. again and let's <laughs> say it one more time. Yeah. Um, this IRS scam, it's just, it's the bane of my existence. I mean, yeah. I hate this thing. Yeah, People rampant. still keep getting violated by this. Yep. Yeah, the calls just seem to, actually in the last couple of weeks, they seem to have increased. Um, they're just, they're abusive and people keep falling for it. The IRS is never going to call you. They're never going to ask you for money. And they're certainly never going to ask you to do it in a cash format. Yeah. And people keep doing it. So in this particular case, this individual gave uh, through a wired money, mm -hmm. bought iTunes yep. cards as well. I mean, yep. this is the way they go about yeah. it, right? Right. And they stayed on the phone with them. And that's, you know, that's the crazy thing is that they'll walk, the scammer will walk you through and stay on the phone. So as you go to the store and make these purchases, they're on the phone with you. And then you hang up and try to call them back. And of course, the phone number is bogus. So yeah. what do we do if we get one of these calls, hopefully not fall for mm -hmm. it? What do we do next? Hang up. <laughs> I mean, that is really the real thing to do, is if you realize what's going on, hang up. Call the, the Better Business Bureau. You can call the Madison office. We'll log it for you so that we can have a record of the scam. Mm -hmm. um, but that really is the only thing you can do is hang up. Do not fall victim. Do not egg them on. Because they get brutal. Yeah. You know, they'll scare you. So like there, they did this poor guy. So there was an interesting uh, a kind of consumer alert that came out earlier this week as well from mm -hmm. the Wisconsin Attorney General's yeah. office basically saying that their name was being used yeah. in a scam. She can't kind of explain what, what people might see in their email box. Yeah, so, you know, it's a phishing scam that can turn into a malware or adware scam in that you get this email and it looks like it's real. This one, in, it looked like it was from the Attorney General. If you check the email address, mouse over it, it actually is a different uh, not real email address. Yeah. You click on something because you think you have a problem and it says click here, we'll show you the complaint and then all of a sudden you end up with a virus on your computer or it's opened it up for the scammer to now have access to your computer and then you're stuck. They mm -hmm. call you, say we'll fix it if you give us money or um, they just go into your computer and take your identification and then where are you? I want to reiterate too how difficult it is to track these people down. Yeah. You may have an email, you may have a phone yeah. number, but you know, what do we do with these emails yeah. then, you know? Yeah, um, you can report them to us at the BBB. Mm -hmm. We log it through um, our scam tracker account, but a lot of them are bogus. Um, most of the phone numbers are, um, are are bogus. They come through and they're, um, they're not real. They've yeah. masked them, same with the email addresses. But if for some unknown reason we're able to, to work with authorities and catch them, um, we can keep these as as uh, evidence. So good advice. Yeah, Laura, it's BBB.org for folks out there. Mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate your time as always this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks All so right. much.